I'm Joey. I'm Kate. I'm Lily. And we're Mr. Kate. Get ready for another beautiful room reveal this week because we are finishing this guest house that we have been working on over the past few weeks because let's say it just started out not cute. And we are days away from nine house guests descending on us. High five. Bad if we have the nicest. Ow. So while we have some bigger and bolder plans for this entire space when we renovate and get our permits, time is of the essence right now to at least fake it till we make it and make these rooms guest ready without fist punch holes in the doors because ugh, that's not the island vibes we're going for. <laughs> I have a ton of DIYs planned to finish this room quickly and most importantly, inexpensively. So let's get to it. Oh my gosh, it actually covered it. Yeah, we wallpapered this door because we remember there was a giant punch hole in it. We're not sure the story, it was there before we came here. All right guys, I'm covering this door with backing paper because we have this giant hole in this door. Someone at some point in the history before we bought this house was very upset and punched through this hole. Temporary solution, instead of paying to replace the door, I'm putting this backing paper on. All right, so what's the plan with this room? So this is our combo guest room. We kind of want it to be an office space. This is going to be where Joey's nephews are gonna sleep. We want a trundle bed in there so that two of them can have separate beds, but all fit in there. Plus we want a little serene desk area because their mom has to get some work done while they're here. So yeah, combination, guest room, day bed, office-y situation in a small room. I've got some really fun ideas, some DIYs up my sleeve. I'm excited, I love kids rooms. I know, you are big. He's just one big kid, this Joey. The bed is going to be the highlight in this space. It's gonna be the biggest thing in the room. I love using day beds and combo office spaces because it can function like a couch. And yeah, Joey's gonna set up one of our brand new beds, the Daphne Trundle bed based off of one of our best-selling other beds. So yeah, I can't wait to see it. We chose the blue velvet one for this room. I know we're going for a neutral vibe in this guest house. It's just, I was so inspired by that blue velvet. I just, I had to veer a little bit. But I feel like a deep blue is the color of the ocean. I mean, the ocean's neutral, it takes up most of the planet. <laughs> we're gonna open all these, okay? We're gonna, we're open. gonna open all them. Yeah, we're gonna open all these. We just whited out this guest house with a quick coat of paint everywhere to cover up all just the mess of color that was going on but I just, I can't help myself. I don't wanna do another white walled room. I need to just add like a little something. We're staying neutral. How about some stripes? Your data is going to K-I-L-L -L me because <laughs> we already painted the walls, plus you already just set up that trundle bed, but I do wanna do just a little bit more painting. What, what's happening? Oh, oh, hello. I was getting inspired by the pleating and also the fact that we have the paneling in here and thinking that it would look so cool if we did like every other stripe. <gasps> Whoa, that oh, was so lucky. On the top. That was lucky, but you got it off. <laughs> this kid knows how to open up paint cans. Wait, I'm so confused. We're painting the no, walls? No, every other stripe because we have the paneling in here. This is a petite room. I think it would be fun to have it almost like subtle circus stripes. The whole Ohana is neutral, right? We've got all of our grays and creams and all everything. So I'm thinking we could just do like a gray on like the this taupey white. Yeah! This one, this stripe, okay? Do the same thing we just did. Ooh. I'm just gonna drop it right in there. No, no, dip it, don't drop it. <laughs> and then go right here in this one. <gasps> Whoops, okay, we'll touch that up. <laughs> I think if we do this, it's gonna just look a little too circus. Yeah. I think this is chicer. Okay. And especially for our neutral story. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so update, got all of our stripes taped off. 
So basically what we're gonna do is the perfect line trick. So you paint the base color, which is this white, you paint that on this line and it seals any place where any seeping would happen. So then when you go to paint this new color, you go over that. So the key is you wanna let that white paint dry before you paint your gray color on this stripe. And then you wanna let that gray color dry before you pull the tape off and then you will have a perfect line. All right, so quick thrift store haul. Wanted to just get some quick, inexpensive stuff we could add into that room. And here's what I got. All right, this chair to sit at the desk. I love the woven bottom. I love how it's bringing in our beachy thing. The wood, however, is like way too yellowy. So I'm either gonna like sand it and do a lighter wood stain or just paint it. Now, <laughs> look at this. Whoopsie! Okay, so get this. This bookshelf was actually in totally fine condition and I was like, I'll take it. I was like, oh, we can paint it, make it cute. But then as they went to move it, one of the people moving it totally busted through the back. They were like, oh no, do you still want it? I'm like, sure, can I get a discount for the damage? They're like, actually take it for free. So I was like, yes, my favorite price deal. So we will be upcycling this little guy. And then, one of the uglier things I've ever seen, but I was thinking about how the space would look so cool if it looked like it was made out of cement, kinda. So I'm thinking, could I make this look like it's a ceramic situation? And then this broken light situation. Actually, I don't mind the space, but it might be a little too big for in there. We could use it for something else. but. This shade is gonna be perfect because there is a boob light in there and we are going to transform it by giving it a shade. But since this is already falling apart, I have the idea of taking this off and then adding some like maybe little small wood dowels to give it kind of a rattan look. Keeping with the beachy situation we have going on in there. So, love it, love a thrift store run. Spent under $50 on all this stuff. And um, yes, I'm excited, I'm really excited to see if I can pull this guy off. <laughs> Let's update that boob light and make it cute using this thrift store shade. So we're gonna use this lampshade as the frame. I'm gonna take off this stuff that's just cracking anyways. And then I've got these little dowels from the hardware store. I really wanna introduce as much of this sort of natural wood tone as we can in little bits and pieces throughout the room. And I'm gonna cut the dowels with this nipper. Man, look, this is like, oh, ah, ooh. These are literally just little rings. Here's our lampshade. The cool thing about this actually is that I could totally adjust the height of it because essentially I'm going to just use pieces of this glued on top and bottom. So these nippers kind of give it a little bit of a tapered look and then this little bit of sanding helps that. But I do like that more rounded look as opposed to like the flat end. Good old hot glue. I'm gonna let it peek up just a tiny bit over the frame as well. Joey's been in here painting the stripes, so let's check on him. <laughs> oh my gosh, it looks so good. I'm going crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry I can't do, do this. It looks so I'm glad. Really I'm so really glad that we made this decision to do this and that you, we. that you did it. So Let's see. Okay. Oh, la, la, la. Oh, snap. Okay, 
so this looks really good. I have some more DIYs I want to do. Actually, Joey, how do you feel about an, some built-in shelves? Where? <laughs> Get you a jelly, get you a jelly! <laughs> We got saws, we got sanders, we got drills, we got wood. And you got you the boss. You're a the boss. Fun ideas. I want to make like a giant wood garland, like beaded garland. You mean that's gonna like hang from the like ceiling? No, it's not gonna hang. It's like a shelf decor. I'm thinking we maybe style it on the desk. I think that would be very chic. 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 Okay, I'm thinking it's like a geometric shaped garland. So basically cutting like, you know, like this piece into like a little bit of an angle and then cutting the corners. So just like random it, shapes and sanding? Just random sanding. shapes and sanding it. And since all of this wood does not match, I think then I will paint it, like spray paint it with like one of those stone texture spray paints. Oh, wait, wait, I need one more thing. Please hold, please. Get the sander on. Ah, ah, ah. Check, check, check. Get the sander. No, 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 no. What? No. I'm just asking you to get the sander. No, I, don't, I can't. I have a big thing I'm bringing in. So this is an old long curtain rod. And I'm thinking if we just do like zip, zip, zip. These can be our little like in-between beads. The goal with this is to make it as simple as possible so that these lovely people watching can do it as well. You cut stuff, I'll sand stuff, and then we'll drill the holes and string it together with twine and it's going to be so cool. Oh, and then I'm going to paint it. how I'm basically making like facets. So if we do the stone effect paint on here, they're gonna look like these little sort of faceted pieces of stone. See, this fits perfectly over here. Pretty uh, beat up. It's so so beat up, that's why we got it for free. But we are gonna work some magic on that. This desk we already had. I love this finish on this desk. It's like parchment and this chair is gonna be so cute with it. But this wood I'm just not feeling because I actually think for this DIY, mm -hmm. we can obviously take off this backing. And then we can bring in more of the beachy vertical striping we have, which is like very common at any hardware store. They've got these panels of beadboard. So we can do this as the backing for this. Prime this, paint it a pretty like neutral color, like maybe even like the wall color, the white. And then in the front, do these as like a frame around because I really love this wood tone. Let's talk about these picture rails first. Yep. How wide do you want them? Maybe let's go like white to white stripe there. It's like there to there. Yeah. Picture rails, I love them. They're low profile, perfect for a room like this that's small, but I wanna get something on the wall above the desk but not have like a full depth shelf. You can display artwork, you can display little trinkets, and I think they're gonna look great. All right, so we're making these picture railings out of two different pieces of wood. So I have one one by three and one one by two. I'm gonna cut these all down to 30 inches, glue them up, clamp them up. So super easy assembly process. Just gonna glue it up. It's gonna go like this. You have your front rail. You can really attach that to your wall. You have a simple picture rail. All right, so there you go. Picture ledge. Anytime you are 
repainting a piece of furniture like this that's just made out of cheap particle board. This has a sort of like paper wrap. You want to make sure you are using some kind of primer that's going to stick to it and not scratch off. So I'm using a Zinzer 123 primer and it's basically made to go on all types of surfaces. It'll work great on this and then I will paint over the primer. Okay, I've got my lovely thrift store chair here and I want to paint it kind of like a kind of like a mint color. I know we're we're going neutral in this guest house unit, but I want to add a little bit of like the blues and greens since we have that gorgeous blue day bed that we're putting in there. So I'm playing with kind of like almost like sea glass colors. I feel like I can get away with saying that blue is a neutral here in an island setting. The trick with this is normally, obviously, because it's got like this like shiny finish on it, you would sand this, then paint it. But I'm going to cheat since sanding does take a while. And I'm going to use this primer, which we've been using like all over <laughs> the house. And it literally says on the label that it allows you to paint without sanding. Woo, sample time. Okay, so I love how much we've been able to use these samples that we got. And I've sampled these three here on the speed board. This is gonna go on the back of the bookshelf. I really like the idea of like the bookshelf just being light with this natural wood accent and then a little bit of blue popping in the back. This is the color that Joey used in the studio bedroom. I'm gonna do that on the desk chair. So I'm just finishing up this dresser. We made our frame, so I'm just gonna attach it. Then I'm gonna put my back pieces on and get this in the room. shelf turned out truly don't you think yeah i need to clean it and touch it up a little bit but i mean <laughs> literally trash to treasure yeah and then this chair looks so cute i mean the wood is cute was cute too but just like would have really contrasted with this no this is a cute and easy way to upcycle a thrift find is like just a fresh coat of paint yeah and i also like how then it like really celebrates this because please see exhibit A and exhibit boo. I've been doing this for over 10 years and I still burn myself with glue, hot glue, tragically. So anyways, yeah, this better work. <laughs> So 
So many of us have these flush mount lights, otherwise known as the boob light. They are just slapped up in so many rental spaces, so many dated spaces. So this DIY is so cool for so many of you out there that don't wanna deal with electrical. You don't have to take down the fixture. You just make a new shade to attach over it. And oh my gosh, this rattan one that we're DIYing is gonna bring in the beachy vibes. And I'm so excited. No more boob light. These are LED filament style bulbs, so they don't get warm. And it is tightened. <gasps> it's holding it. Okay, wait, let's see. Let's turn it off. Let's turn it off. <gasps> oh my gosh. Easiest boob light update. We love boobs, just don't like boob lights. I had planned to trim the bottoms to just make it like super even all around, but now that it's up, I don't mind the unevenness. It lends itself to that kind of like organic beachy look that we're throwing in a little bit in here. So I'm just leaving it. I'm done. I'm done with this boob light. Not a boob no more. I think I already know what I want to do. Obviously, we've got some really fun, colorful things. These are still samples, so I'm showing you guys, but these might change when they're like, you know, store ready. But like this bed in a bag thing. And look at this color. I didn't actually plan this. It matches the chair so well. And comes with a handy dandy tote. You get your comforter and your farmer's market bag. It's gonna be so cute. idea then is just drilling down the middle of these pieces to give us our hole to feed the twine through. Or wait, should I like make them actual little sculptures? Since we have that amazing shelf now, like making like little ceramic sculptures and then I don't have to drill through, <laughs> I can just glue them. And I think this is the way to go. And I think Joey's gonna be happy about this decision too because I was gonna have him drill all the holes. So instead we're just gonna make a little wood glue stack and then spray them. Okay, so these are the two products I'm gonna try to use on the wood pieces. This is a textured stone spray paint, and then this is just like a matte creamy color. My plan is I'm gonna spray paint with this first and then go over it with this. Curtain hanging time. You know what I was just thinking? Whoa! <laughs> I'm thinking I need to go on a diet. I just broke the ladder. Do I still use it? Don't fail on me. There's one step that I truly believe is the key step to hanging curtains. Put your rod on, hold your rod up just to where your curtains are kissing the floor. Okay, so I've decided that this lanai, now that we've spruced it up, is my favorite place to like hang out and DIY because the breeze here is so nice. Anyways, moving on to the lamp. I have this fast dry premium spackle. So I'm just thinking I'm gonna use like, you know, basic spackle tools to sort of just smear on here. Then once that's dry, I'll actually do the paint effect. All right, I'm gonna work really fast and just literally smush.
Okay, so the texture is just looking a little ragtag right now. So, I have an idea. So look at how cool these have turned out. I'm obsessed with this spray paint. And so I'm thinking, you know what? This pretty much looks like cement. I'm thinking to do this and this in the matte black and then this with the cement, I think it will totally change the look of this lamp and make it really a lot more chic. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Very happy that I actually did both steps. Last and final step, I am going to paint with this chalk spray paint, it's not actual chalk, it just has like a chalk finish. I'm gonna do the whole shade and this gooseneck. I think it's gonna look really cool! Oh my gosh, we're almost there! I'm truly happy with how these turn out. I just think they're so cool. Like I feel like it would be something you would see in like CB2. I have white acrylic paint and just like a little like rough brush. And I'm thinking I'm gonna add almost like a highlight. Just really highlighting this faceted sanding that we did, which I think is a really cool part of it. I feel like it got lost a little bit in the spray painting. Looking so cute. And this, you guys. What drew me to this lamp was these curvy shapes, which is just so in right now. But then by giving it this kind of concrete texture and then matting out this, I think it looks way cooler than the $4 lamp we found at the thrift store, so. Of course, this is our Mr. Kate Winston desk and the plaster finish. Just super like simple, chic, can be used in so many different styles. a low profile quilt for your trundle bed so you can just have it made up and then there's multiple ways to make up a day bed you could obviously style it like a bed with the pillow over here but I'm gonna make it up more like a sofa just tucking in the blanket all the way around <gasps> look at how cute a chartreuse plaid peeking out Down. Oh my gosh, I love it in here. It's such a vibe. What do you guys think?
left. That was an impressive uh, feat. Living room, dining room. Casita, yes. Guest porch. house, Ohana unit. Not a lot of time. Didn't spend a lot of money. No. Covered up a lot of ugliness. Hopefully our guests don't look too closely. <laughs> yeah, let's do a quick tour of the Ohana now. So you remember yeah. what it looked like before. And now, welcome. To paradise. that we got this done. We have nine family members coming to visit. It's gonna be a wild time. And then we have to figure out our bedroom. Our bedroom, the la literally like one of the last rooms we haven't touched. Our guests are sleeping in luxury and we have towels on our window still. <laughs> Believe it. Good job. At least they're light blocking towels. The family is here. All right, oh, whoa. What? This is nice. Take everybody in this house. Yeah, everybody else goes away. This is my room. 